Hi, everyone, and happy Saturday to you. We've got clouds, even some rain holding tough in some locations, and it's all from a tropical wave impacting the southeast. We've got a lot to track right here. The sun's trying to peek through those clouds, but having a tough time doing so, that's keeping temperatures relatively comfortable compared to where we have been here lately. But we will see some showers and even some storms later today. Getting the squeeze play right now. We've got moisture coming in from the tropics. This is actually an old tropical wave that had a small chance earlier this week at becoming a named tropical system. You can see why. It's got some spin here with it, giving quite the soaking to Augusta, to Hilton Head, to Savannah, even western parts of Charleston. We also have from the north another system moving through. This will be a front that will bring in some drier air for us. The two combined will give us some thunderstorms today. A low chance some of those storms turn strong to severe. Tomorrow, another chance for some isolated storms. However, not as much coverage as it will be slightly drier and more hot. So over the next 12 hours, look for the clouds to hold tough, then some thunderstorms between the typical time frames of 3, 4, 5 o'clock, all the way through about 7. But I can't rule out some overnight showers, even a few rumbles of thunder. Midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. You see here we go about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Most of us are dry, but then comes the afternoon and coming in from the north, 7, 8, 9 o'clock, we could have some of those thunderstorms. Now, do know that it will not be for everybody. Some of us will stay dry today. Some of us will see those storms roll on through. Through, but do know that you may hear a few rumbles of thunder later tonight. That could last all the way through midnight or so before drier weather begins to move our way. Now, speaking of the tropics, watching this closely as we move on throughout the next couple of days, uh, becoming a bit more active. We've talked about how active the ocean is getting right now, those crazy sea surface temperatures. Well, we are watching a tropical wave that will likely become our next name system. Here's our guy over us right now. Not a name system, but certainly has that swirl. If it were out in the ocean a little bit longer, it probably would have had a chance to become something. Back toward the middle of the Atlantic, we have our next name system, which will likely form later today or tomorrow. The good news, the latest track, the latest pattern has this moving toward the north and away from us. It's moving northwest at 23 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a tropical system. It's not got any thunderstorms over it right now, but as it moves toward the north, entering a slightly more favorable environment here, thankfully that is going away from us because as I analyze the ocean right now, if anything were to get into the Caribbean or the Gulf, it would have a chance at becoming more of a threat. This is basically the heat energy or the potential. If the ideal system were to get into this area, it has quite a bit of fuel to get going. Thankfully, over the next week, our latest European model, our old trusty one, shows that name system going east of Bermuda. A couple of waves to watch coming off the Cape Verde Islands, but right now, just not seeing anything that's able to sustain. Now, remember, that part of the Atlantic doesn't quite have a lot of storm energy with it right now. That looks to build later in August. So it looks like we may have a little bit of a lull, a little bit of a break through the first week or so of August. And then after that, we're going to have to watch closely for uh, our hurricane season to begin to get a lot more active. Signs are pointing to an active hurricane season, which is a little bit of a change from earlier thoughts because El Nino just not coming in as strong as we thought. We'll call it El Nino light or diet El Nino. So simply put, we've got a nice weekend on the way. A little bit of a break from the heat, at least early on today. Some thunderstorms by Saturday afternoon. Then by Sunday, we've got drier weather, but it will be more hot. Hope you and your family have a great day.